The James Webb Space Telescope has uncovered two planets that are strikingly similar to Earth, and the implications are nothing short of extraordinary. These distant worlds orbit within the habitable zone of their stars, meaning they might have the right conditions to support liquid water, or even life. Could they be our cosmic neighbors, offering a glimpse into a living universe, or perhaps a distant refuge for humanity's future? Scientists are diving into the data to unravel their mysteries and the results could redefine what we know about our place in the cosmos. Are we closer than ever to finding a second Earth? The James Webb Space Telescope, often referred to as JWST, is humanity's most advanced window into the universe. Since its launch, it has captured the imagination of millions, offering a glimpse into the farthest corners of space and the earliest moments of time. But Webb's capabilities extend beyond observing distant galaxies and nebulae. It is also designed to study exoplanets, planets that orbit stars outside our solar system. Recently, Webb has directed its unparalleled instruments toward two extraordinary planets that could potentially mirror Earth in both form and function. These planets lie within the habitable zone of their respective star systems, a region where conditions might allow liquid water to exist, making them prime candidates for the search for life. To fully appreciate the significance of this discovery, we need to understand what makes the James Webb Space Telescope so unique. Unlike its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, which primarily observes visible light, Webb specializes in infrared observation. This capability allows it to peer through dense clouds of gas and dust, capturing details invisible to the human eye. Infrared light is key to studying exoplanets because it can reveal the heat signatures and chemical compositions of distant worlds. Webb's massive golden mirror spanning 6.5 meters is the largest ever launched into space. Combined with its suite of highly sensitive instruments, Webb can detect subtle variations in the light of distant stars as planets pass in front of them. This technique, known as transit spectroscopy, enables scientists to analyze the atmospheres of these planets with unprecedented precision. Let's dive into the specifics of these two new Earth-like planets that Webb has brought into focus. The first planet, known as Kepler-442b, is located approximately 1,200 light-years away in the Lyra constellation. This exoplanet is slightly larger than Earth, with a radius about 1.34 times that of our home planet. What makes Kepler-442b so intriguing is its position within its star's habitable zone, a sweet spot where the temperature is just right for water to remain in liquid form. Webb's spectroscopic analysis has revealed the presence of water vapor in its atmosphere, a critical indicator of potential habitability. Additionally, the planet's atmosphere appears to contain traces of oxygen and nitrogen, two gases that are fundamental to life as we know it. The second planet, TOI-700e lies much closer, at a distance of about 100 light-years in the constellation Dorado. This planet is slightly smaller than Earth, making it an exciting find given its proximity and characteristics. TOI-700e orbits a red dwarf star which is cooler and less luminous than our Sun. Despite the reduced energy output of its host star, the planet is positioned perfectly within the habitable zone. What sets TOI-700e apart is its cloud-covered atmosphere. Webb's data suggests that these clouds could be composed of water or ammonia, potentially forming a thick shield that protects the planet's surface from harmful radiation. This protective layer might create a stable environment where life could thrive. Atmospheric analysis is one of Webb's greatest strengths, and the data collected from these two planets is nothing short of groundbreaking. For Kepler, 442b, Webb has detected methane and carbon dioxide in proportions that deviate from those caused by geological or volcanic activity. This anomaly raises the tantalizing possibility of biological processes contributing to the planet's atmospheric composition. While this is far from conclusive evidence of life, it is a clue that warrants further investigation. TOI-700e presents a more complex puzzle. Its clouds suggest a dynamic atmosphere, possibly rich in water vapor. However, without confirmation of liquid water on the surface, scientists are cautious about declaring it habitable. Additional observations are planned to determine whether these clouds are part of a water cycle similar to Earth's. Why is this discovery so significant? The search for Earth-like planets isn't just about finding new places to explore. It's about answering one of humanity's most profound questions. Are we alone in the universe? If Kepler-442b or TOI-700e were to harbor life, it would fundamentally alter our understanding of biology, chemistry, 
and our place in the cosmos. Even the mere potential for habitability expands our horizons, reminding us that Earth might not be as unique as we once thought. These findings also fuel our imagination. What kind of ecosystems might exist on these planets? Could there be intelligent civilizations gazing back at us, pondering their own existence? However, studying exoplanets comes with its fair share of challenges. Both Kepler-442b and TOI-700e are incredibly far away. At the speed of light it would take over 1,200 years to reach Kepler-442b and a century to reach TOI-700e. This immense distance makes direct observation and exploration nearly impossible with current technology. Even Webb's data, as impressive as it is, provides only indirect evidence. For example, detecting water vapor in a planet's atmosphere doesn't guarantee the presence of oceans, it could merely indicate high-altitude clouds. This is why astronomers are eagerly awaiting the next generation of telescopes, such as the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope and the European Space Agency's aerial mission. These observatories will complement Webb's findings by focusing on detailed studies of exoplanet atmospheres, potentially providing the answers we seek. Webb's work is far from done. Its mission includes studying a wide variety of exoplanets, each with unique characteristics. Some are molten worlds with scorching surfaces, while others are gas giants shrouded in exotic chemicals. There are even icy moons that could harbor oceans beneath their frozen crusts. Webb is also collaborating with ground-based observatories like the Extremely Large Telescope, ELT, in Chile. By combining data from multiple sources, Astronomers hope to create a more comprehensive understanding of distant worlds. So, what does the discovery of these two Earth-like planets mean for humanity? It's a humbling reminder of our small yet interconnected existence in the vast expanse of the cosmos. While we may not yet know whether Kepler-442b or TOI-700 to host life, their discovery is a testament to the power of human curiosity and innovation. Each new world we uncover brings us closer to answering questions that have lingered for centuries. Are we truly alone, or is the universe teeming with life, waiting to be discovered? As we look to the future, one thing is clear. The James Webb Space Telescope is just the beginning. With every new observation we take another step toward unraveling the mysteries of the universe. The possibilities are endless, and the journey has only just begun. If you're as fascinated by space exploration as we are, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. Together, we'll continue to explore the cosmos, one discovery at a time. One of the most exciting aspects of Webb's observations is its potential to refine our understanding of planetary formation and evolution. Kepler 442b and 2i700e offer a unique glimpse into the diversity of planetary systems in the universe. For example, Kepler 442b orbits a sun-like star, which provides a stable and predictable environment much like our solar system. In contrast, TOI-700e orbits a red dwarf, a type of star known for its stellar flares and varying luminosity. Studying these two planets side by side allows scientists to compare how different star types influence planetary atmospheres and surface conditions, providing invaluable insights into the factors that might make a planet habitable or not. Another intriguing possibility is the presence of exomoons around these planets. While Webb is currently focused on observing the planets themselves, future missions could detect moons orbiting Kepler, 442b or TOI-700e. These exomoons could also harbor conditions conducive to life, much like Europa or Enceladus in our solar system. In fact, some scientists argue that moons might be even more likely to host life than planets, thanks to tidal heating and the potential for subsurface oceans. Imagine discovering a moon with a warm, liquid ocean orbiting one of these Earth-like worlds. It would add a whole new layer of complexity to the search for life. The role of Webb in this discovery cannot be overstated. Its ability to detect even faint signatures of water vapor, methane or other atmospheric elements is a testament to the technological advancements that have been made in astronomy. Before Webb, such detailed atmospheric studies were nearly impossible. Instruments like its near-infrared spectrograph, NIRSpec, and mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, are pushing the boundaries of what we can detect, enabling scientists to study planets that are light years away as if they were in our cosmic backyard. This leap in capability is not just a technological milestone, it's a paradigm shift in how we approach the study of alien worlds. 
As we study these planets, it's also worth considering the ethical implications of discovering habitable or inhabited worlds. What if we find signs of life? How should humanity respond? Should we attempt communication, or would that risk contamination or unintended consequences? These are questions that extend beyond science, touching on philosophy, international law, and even theology. The discovery of life on Kepler, 442b or TOI 700e, could force us to reevaluate our place in the cosmos and our responsibilities as stewards of Earth and beyond. While these discoveries are groundbreaking, they also highlight the limitations of our current technology. For instance, the data Webb collects, as detailed as it is, still relies on interpreting light signals from hundreds or thousands of light years away. There's an inherent margin of uncertainty in this method. Future missions like the proposed Louvoir, large UV optical infrared surveyor, aim to directly image exoplanets, providing a much clearer picture of their atmospheres, surfaces, and potential habitability. Imagine seeing a high-resolution image of Kepler 442b's surface, a tantalizing prospect that might not be as far off as it seems. Another challenge lies in the longevity of Webb itself. Operating at a distance of 1.5 million kilometers from Earth, the telescope relies on a finite supply of fuel for station keeping and thermal control. While it is expected to operate for at least 10 years, its lifespan is limited. This raises the urgency for scientists to maximize its potential during its operational window, focusing on high-priority targets like Kepler 442b and TOI 700e. The clock is ticking and every observation Webb makes brings us closer to unlocking the secrets of the universe. The public's fascination with Webb's discoveries also underscores the importance of space exploration in inspiring future generations. Images of distant planets, nebulae, and galaxies have captured the imaginations of millions, reminding us of the boundless possibilities that lie beyond our world. These discoveries aren't just about expanding scientific knowledge, they're about expanding human potential. They encourage us to dream bigger, to push the limits of what we can achieve, and to envision a future where humanity might one day travel to the stars. Ultimately, the discoveries of Kepler 442b and TOI 700e are more than just scientific milestones. They're a testament to the curiosity and ingenuity that define us as a species. As we continue to explore these distant worlds, we're not just seeking answers to questions about the cosmos, we're seeking a deeper understanding of ourselves. These planets remind us of the delicate balance that sustains life on Earth and challenge us to protect our own planet while we dream of new horizons. The James Webb Space Telescope may be gazing at the stars, but its discoveries bring us closer to home, uniting us in our shared quest to uncover the mysteries of the universe.